Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the upper bound on the discrete entropy. So, given a discrete random variable x i that has a probability mass function p of x i, entropy or discrete entropy is given by summation i equal to 1 to m, where m is the number of samples, probability of x i that is a probability mass function multiplied by log of p of x i. So, this is the definition of discrete entropy. So, our goal is to prove that the discrete entropy is upper bounded by logarithm of the number of samples, that is log of m. So, in order to prove this theorem, we will make, we will make use of Jensen's inequality. Jensen's inequality. which is given as follows. Given a convex function phi and weights lambda i and the variable y i all positive, then Jensen's inequality is defined as the convex function of the weighted sum i equal to 1 to m lambda i y i is, uh, is less than or equal to the weighted average or weighted sum of the convex function of the variable, the function of that variable that is phi of y i. So, phi is usually a convex function and lambda and y i are always a positive values. So, now let the variable y i is equal to minus log of p of x i. So, if you note that this is always going to be a positive value since log of our probability is always a negative value and negative of negative is a positive value. So, y i is a positive value and let lambda i the weights are equal to the probability itself p of x i and let phi is equal to exponential function which is a convex function. Now, using these labels or these functions or these, these variables and functions in the Jensen's inequality, in the Jensen's inequality we get then exponential of summation i equal to 1 to m p of x i minus logarithm of p of x i, which is going to be less than summation i equal to 1 to m p of x i exponential of logarithm of 1 by p of x i. So, if you look at the right hand side, this is nothing but 1 by p x i. So, this is equal to summation i equal to 1 to m p of x i divided by p of x i, which is equal to m. On the left hand side, uh, the exponent is nothing but the definition of entropy. So, it is exponential of h of x. Therefore, exponential of h of x is always less than m. And hence, taking logarithm on both sides, we have h of x is always less than or equal to logarithm of m. Hence, the theorem is proved. Thanks for watching.